Hey everybody, Danny Rubino here with WP Central, continuing our coverage of Windows Phone 7.5 Mango, the preview edition. Right now we're going to take a look at Bing and some of the voice command stuff that's been added. Uh, Bing is really nice. One cool feature, you can turn on and from the lock screen hold down the magnifying glass for a few seconds and go right to Bing. And that's an option, you don't have to have that enabled, but I actually really enjoy it. I think it makes sense for uh, you know looking up things, IDing songs quickly and that kind of stuff. So let's look what we what we got here. If you zoom in there, you can see how we got Scout, Music, Vision, and of course Voice Search. Scout is probably one of the coolest things I've seen. And it's not just for those who travel around, so I'll show you why. So you hop into the program here, and it's actually going to bring down your current location. And Eat and Drink is the first category, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's, you know, restaurants, bars, pizza places all around you. Of course, you can click on any of them. It gets you the information, directions, uh, phone number, hours, category, website. And if there's a review for it, a place too, you can get that. You can also share the information, uh, pin it, and uh, suggest changes, which is kind of nice. Fairly basic, but great if you're traveling around or even want to find a restaurant in your area. But Sea-Doo is really the kind of the cool thing, I think. This brings down new things that are happening in your area right now. So it's dynamic. It changes day to day. So this is different from when I used it last night. And what it's doing is like, it finds events that are happening in your area that you might not know about and then gives you the information. So here's a thing on autism. Tells you when, where, categories, and the full description. You can of course share it. There's also some regular things that are always happening in the area. But what's really cool about this, like I said, it's dynamic. It's changing as the day changes and so if a concert's happening, a local band is playing, a live performance, it's all going to show up here. And so even for discovering stuff in your own hometown that you didn't know about, it's it's fantastic I think for that. As well as you can see, you know, if you're traveling around, that would be useful. Shop is also kind of neat, it brings down stores in your area, same thing. Nice big list, click on any of them, get directions, a phone number, reviews, Finally, you have highlights. These are like, you know, things recommended in the area. Uh, this steakhouse apparently is pretty popular. You can also favorite things and save them for later. So that's Scout, like I said, a very cool for discovering stuff in your area and things around you. And it's seamless and just extremely fast. And so very excited about that. Here is Bing Music. It's listening for something because I have nothing playing, but let's give it a shot. Now, Big Music, I should point out, is still in development, so it's not completed yet, and by the final release of Mango, it'll be more refined. But it does pretty well, so let's see how it does here. And that's actually incorrect. Of course, this is, if you can tell, it's not a very uh, rhythmic song. Let's see if we can fast. Give it some vocals. There we go. So now I finally got it. As you can see, so it's a little hit and miss, but then again, what I was giving it before was barely any music. But once you throw some vocals in, it's great, hop to the marketplace, there it is. You can download the album, stream it, do whatever you need to. Really great integration. I'm kind of really psyched about having this built in. You can imagine how quick this would be with that uh, holding the key down from the start screen. Really good idea. Okay, next we're going to take a look at Bing Vision. Now this one's going to be a little challenging for me to do while using the camera here, but we'll just launch the little scanner. And let's see if I can grab this book and see if this will work. Now, I've never scanned this book before, so let's see how quickly it works. And you can see it's very fast and very quick. So it brings up this little screen here. Of course, it went away quickly. But then you can bring up your history. And it brings you about the about, the price, the description of the book, reviews of the book. 
all very fast, fluid. I mean, look how quick this is. And those are some massive reviews right there. It's a good book, by the way. Uh, <laughs> prices at various places. And when you hit Amazon, interestingly enough, it goes to IE9. I think they demoed before how this actually goes to, um, you know, the Amazon app. But right now, it doesn't do that. Still, this isn't a bad choice. I imagine by the final release, that'll change. So that works extremely well. Let's try a CD. As you can see, once again, very quick on that. Same thing, price, descriptions, reviews, everything you need to know. And of course it does the barcode as well. Overall, really impressive stuff. I, I really like Bing Vision. I think this is cool. It can also translate text. I won't demonstrate that, but it works for Spanish, Italian, uh, I believe German, and uh, I think one or two other languages, probably French. And so you could just scan the text and have it translate. Finally, uh, you have your voice search. Movies. So here's the thing now where they recommend the app for you. IMDB, so that's kind of new. When you look up new stuff, if they can find an app for it, they'll recommend it. Nothing local. Of course, you have Bing Images, which is a new addition. Now, with the Bing Images is kind of nice, but you can't do anything with these images. So you can kind of look at that photo, but you can't save it or uh, use those wallpaper or anything like that. So it's a little bit limited. Still, it's a start. Maybe that'll change on the final release. And of course, you can just launch right into the app if you already have it, which is kind of nice. And forgive me, I just got an email. And here's the tell me stuff. Help. Here is a list of things you can say. You see the commands now are a lot more rich. You can do uh, call Alex on speakerphone, which is really nice. You can, of course, find things. You can still open your programs, open or start. And of course, now you have text. And you have a few other options here under uh, more. You can call another person or press to press a number while on a phone call, which is kind of nice. Text Phil Nickinson. Texting Phil Nickinson. Say your message. Hey Phil, just testing this Windows phone. Let's see how this works. It'll just testing this Windows phone. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Not too bad. Cancel. So you can see overall it works pretty well. I enjoy the new voice command options very much. Uh, the ability to set the call to speakerphone is pretty awesome. So overall Bing and voice command are uh, great, great changes. Uh, the preview edition should be excellent. So there you go. Take care everybody.